মানে রিভাইভ বি করে আছে আর আমি হ্যাঁ এই লাইভলিহুড কারণে বি করে আছে আমি হ্যাঁ লং লং এই তো আজি এই ফেস্টিভেল লং লং ফেস্টিভেল করে আছে আজি তো টু থাউজেন্ড ফোরটিন লং লং ফেস্টিভেল তো শুরু করেছে আমি গান তো এটা তা করে আছে এভরি ইয়ার করে আছে আর মহান আমি হ্যাঁ কাপড়া কাপড়া বানা মানে তো বিক্রি করলে এই তো দিগদার আছে আমি হান তো তো কাপড়া বানা তো বেশি দুঃখ আছে বানা তো মেশিন লা নহে বানা বেশি বেশি টাইম লাগে আর দাম বি বেশি মাঙিয়ে মাঙিও লাগি যায় এই তো হিসাব দে আর মাধ্যম বি কিনলে বি দিগদার নিয়ে আছে বলে বি আমি আমি বেশি প্রফিট পাবো গুণা বি মাঙা নাই না বানা লা দাম সুতা লা দাম এই হি মাঙি থাকি মান এই ফেস্টিভেল স্টার্ট করা তো টু থাউজেন্ড ফোরটিন পর করা তো আমি হ্যাঁ এই ফেস্টিভেল করা নেই আমি হ্যাঁ মহান লাল লং লুম তো প্রমোট করে আছে এই তো ফেস্টিভেল তো লই কিনা তো আমি হ্যাঁ এনেকে ওয়ার্কশপ খান কান্দা করে মান খান আই না আমি হাঁকে শেখায় আর নি ডিপার্টমেন্ট খান হলে বি আহি না এনেকে ফেসিলিটি আছে এনে হাঁ কই থাকে আর এনে আমি হ্যাঁ এই তো করা তো লং লং আমি হ্যাঁ কাপড়া বানা তো মানুষ বি বেশি জানিছে এই তো না মানুষ হ্যাঁ কি জানাও পারিছে আমি হ্যাঁ নাগা মানুষ এনে কাপড়া বানাই গুণ and also engaging. It's both sides of learning um, because today in this festival, we have the Shuttle Loom and also the Loin Loom. And why it's called the Loin Loom Festival is because for the Nagas and for the Saudis Asian, we actually, this is our traditional way of weaving. Very sadly, we sometimes, or perhaps we continue to say it's a dying art. But my question is, are we consciously making it to die? So the effort of the festival is that we make our weavers community come together and get to know why they continue this art and should it continue. So this year we made it very differently, the eighth edition, that as an individual for me and my friend and her sister who began this about 15 years ago, they started with a self-help group see her own mother and the weavers around, that they were taking these um, yarns from the marwaris and weaving just for earning, without thinking, because they had the skill, they had the art with them. But along the way of the livelihood, they were also distorting many cultural uh, aspects of it. Because for them, it was just about earning and surviving. They were not bothered about whether uh, a particular tribe art was being distorted. So they were having and getting the available yarn and some kind of advance money. So that made things very easy for them. So the person who was giving money, he won. At the same time who was receiving, it's a win-win situation. So my friend, she felt that this is not going to be good for our Naga society if women starts doing this, distorting our cultural uh, perspective on our shawls and our attires and our stories. So if you see in the open market, you will see a lot of our Naga shawls totally distorted. Not the original color, twisted colors, our patterns are changed. You know, so they're just drawing their own narratives and saying that this is uh, Angami shawl, you know, this is uh, so-and-so shawls. <laughs> But it has no story and history behind that. But it is sold as a Naga shawl. So when we start selling as a Naga shawl, there's another danger in it. That is, 
we are depriving the identity of the particular tribe. So in this Naga fusion, we are also taking away the identity of the people. So, um, for example, why we also felt and my friends felt that this has to be spoken, that's where the festival came to create a place to dialogue. For the government agency, for people who are in the artistic lines, at the same time who advocate and educate artisans to know their rights, to fight for their rights, and to ask what is theirs. Unfortunately, in all these 15 years, we still are in the same place. So this year, I said to the weavers community that we have been associating in the village where we have started growing our own cotton. It took about eight years to revive growing the cotton. But there, it has its own challenges again. The government agency, unfortunately, is only interested in the end product, not the process. And here, the weavers community is challenged with how to keep up with the challenges, with the commercial commodities that is in demand. It's cheap, it's locally available, and everybody can afford it. And they find our loin loom products very expensive. For that matter, on the joking side, I can't even afford my exotic echo product. Because the, because the process is painstaking, it's time consuming, and the yarns that we buy, it's quite expensive. So if the yarns are cheap, then the products would be cheap. But then that's where the challenge of the quality of the product comes into challenge. So today we have the shuttle loom that is complementing us this year to help the weavers understand that there are varied kind of products get in, that can be made without infringing upon the traditional designs or uh, traditional products that we do in our loom. Because the kind of quality that we are looking at is also a competition. So the government of India, that is the Ministry of Textiles, they are very much interested in introducing the shuttle loom. And here when we do our festival, they say that, well, Google, it's cheaper, it's low, I mean, you know, you, the weavers can earn more, you know, people can afford. But I said, we're not extinct yet. So it's good to have an alternative, but we need to also help understand that for any weaver, at a certain age only, they can adapt to new skill sets, not at a time when they're 40 and 50. And the interesting part about our weavers in Angland is that they learn when they're still a child. But the unfortunate part, as we see in decades, women have stopped weaving. So our fear is that if women stops weaving, for whatever multiple reasons it may be, we are more or less, we've lost it. And a lot of money can be spent in reviving it. But for me, and for many of my weavers, it's about what can we do now when we still have it. So it's not about what we don't have, but what do we still have that we can do about it. So we're very grateful that on the 8th edition, the Tourism Department, the Art and Culture Department, and the Industries and Commerce, they have handholded us, because this is an initiative that Exotic Echo started. It is not a government initiative, but it complements the Hornbill Festival. So what we really appreciate is when the department steps in, in acknowledging the effort and strengthens the partnership, then we can think about surviving, then we can think about thriving, then we can think about working together. So this year, I threw the ball to the community weavers, saying that this is your festival. I, as a facilitator, and my two friends who started this, have done their bit. We can only come in in support, but we cannot carry this boat alone. So you need to step in, speak for yourself, share your grievances and challenges, and also your solutions. So as a facilitator and as a mediator, we can tie the knots. So it is here on that note, as you can see, um, this place is also uh, with the idea of ecotourism, and the huts have been made in our indigenous style to host our weavers and guests, and also in the simple manner of uh, 
that things can be done in a minimalistic way. Because we spend so much meaninglessly. So this year, as you can see, our ambience, this has been set up by the weavers themselves and the family who has been initiating this uh, loin loom and the uh, uh, weaving. And I am a volunteer and as a facilitator, uh, I do my bit on the external part. Nowadays, I call myself a professional beggar, you know, in asking every offices in the ministry and speaking for the weavers. And uh, trust me, it's fun. But I told the weavers, I can happily do more in confidence when you tell your side of the story. Because we cannot be all the time be the voice. They need to find your voices. So this year, I'm so happy that they took the initiative. And as women, it's very difficult to leave their homes for two days because they've got families, they have to take care of the kitchen. And I think this is somewhere we lose out not understanding the plight of the women weavers, or for that matter, even for a farmer. So for them to be far away from their homes and be here, it's a big thing. And I think we all need to appreciate. So we have called today's Loin Loom Festival as a year of appreciation. I'm first time Manu bi na thaki kine ami khan bitorte. Eh, ami khan to shehar du banana bo kine ami khan bitorte. Itu kotha kine village level the ami khan shehar du bishay loshe. Bishay loa piche the shehar du thaki ashe kine. Bishon asoni ka tohle jani kine. Ta ahi kine ami khan bitorte. Ahi kine mo khan bishari kine. Inni ka inni ka hobo line to inni ka inni ka thaki she. Abar na khan mili kine kam kuri bana. Kinika is <laughs> going to make a laga <laughs> monte bina in Kahudi. I say, I've been told lying beside the Amical Logote Milak in the Kam Kuribukule Amican Man Kushe Kogene. Nineteen a two thousand sixteen day Amican Epome Grise. It do I get a holy Amican Dole Poil up Amical Sahel to Takise. Holy Bita can look at John Kuratole two thousand sixteen bra. Join Kuluse, it would tamte taito ahine group as a coin yet exotic ecote. That can festival takise. It would tamta amikanaki kuluse, and you can be creepy kuse, the kadise, demonstrating to be jase. Aro Amahanke be, but hagene bahate be, jaikine, Nika Nagalente, Amikalite, Nika Kurese, Kurinana. It can be in the Cocose, Holiby, Jasa, Aro, Ito Jasa, Tahole, Govinan Timpera, Amikan B, Digda Pagina, Bahajabole, Boypera, Amikan Tole, Jasa de Nahihoche, Arutahan, Amikan Nahilebi, Samanto, Patakine, Yetepera, Tahake, Export Cush, Dishede, Aro, Amikan Tole, Itiato, Kiki Bostite. Takan the mind is Amikan B to Han Banagine, Patatake. Aro Amikan tole cotton. Poila tole Amaham for fathers can tole cotton para, capra banai. Capra banagine lagatake or metras canish in the Uritake. Holy be Manuto life tole situation tole sent or to Alakalak Ahijai. Kuribole Alchi Hopra, Arudam Sostak, Sekehen Kanishina, Ahabra, it took us up, Charise. Amahan to Kuri, Holebia Mikan Arua Mikan be Charidisito, Holebia Makan Korea Zaniapra, I am Mikato, it to hit Jolabo, Kogene, Amikan be cotton sick to exotic para, Taikan sit and beside Nick and Amikan Kedi Dise, it to Amikan to the first time to her. Vision ke dishe beneficiary to vision tohle na aru ami kham vision tohle vision tohle kurishe aru tai kham tohle paisa bi dishe aru ami kham itia tohle itu recovery to khatam ho na aru ami kham ban ani ani ke ne ito suta ani ka khetti pray ani ka ulai shina 
এনেকা ওলাইছে আর ইউটিউবরা এনেকা আটাইখান ঘুরে নিছে না এনেকা ওলাই কিনে সুতা বানাইছে এটু তো আমি খান বানাই কিনে আনিয়ে লাগা তো এটুপরা আমি খান বি আস্তে আস্তে পড়া পেশা আমি মতব দিছে আর আমি খান বি তার খাকে বানা কিনে দি কিনে তার খান আমি খান রস্তাত বিচার দিয়ে আছে হয় আর এটা তো হলে আস্তে আস্তে আমার লাগা বস্তি দেবি আর থার্টি এটু থার্টি জন বেনিফিসির এটু সাথে আর থার্টি এটু পয়লা বিশ বিশটা থাকে না এটু কলা নাম পড়া ডর করবলে এক্সপান্ড করবলে থার্টি জন আরও দিছে হয় আর এটু খান হলে এটু সারে রিকভারি করব এই টাটা কার্সে ইমান আছে এটু তো হলে মানে খান তো ফেস্টিভেল তো হলে আমি খান না করে লাগা বস্তি দশরা খান বি আনি না আর আমি খান তাখান না থাকে না জানি খান আমি খান বি করে কেন আনিয়ে তাখান বি বেশি খুশি পড়া আমি কি কি আনিছে তাখান বি শিকা লো আমি খান বি আহি কিনে ইয়ে না জানে খাকে শিকা দি দাই দাই নেচারাল দাই আমি খান নিজের জায়গাতে পা খান আনি কিনে ইয়ে দাই গুণে মানুষকে দেখা দিয়ে আছে নমস্কার মাইসেলফেস বন্দ্যোপাধ্যায় ডাইরেক্টর ইস্টার্ন রিজিয়ন উইভার সার্ভিস সেন্টার ইট ইস আন্ডার মিনিস্ট্রি অফ টেক্সটাইলস ডেভেলপমেন্ট কমিশন অফ হ্যান্ড লুমস রিয়েলি আই এম ওভার উইল টু সি দ্য ফেস্টিভেল ইস দ্য ফার্স্ট টাইম আই এম ভিজিটিং হিয়ার ডেজি ফি আই হ্যাভ বিন সেভারেল টাইমস বাট দ্য লয়ন লুম ফেস্টিভেল আই এম এক্সপিরিয়েন্সিং এক্সপিরিয়েন্সিং ফার্স্ট টাইম and as you know that uh, we from the ministry's end we are looking after we are providing services to the sector where we were located handloom weavers according to census here in nagaland we have good number of weavers and in the entire eastern region that the the majority of weavers are practicing handloom weaving for the domestic purpose because they are consuming the products for their own for different ceremonies festivals apart there are some uh, i mean weavers those who are working for the commercial uh, market and we appreciate that the product uh, we are getting from the law and loom but technically we can explain it is a very compact and very indigenous and the various designs are coming but there are some limitations we know because we if, if we are thinking for the commercial market we have to compete because the other producers are working with i mean they are producing the product on frame looms which are very much uh, i mean popular in the handloom sector and the uh, the uh, the advantages of frame loom is like they can produce more fabrics with wider length <clears throat> and as per the need of the market so that is why they can offer in the cheaper price for the commercial market <clears throat> from ministries and uh, we have several schemes uh, we have uh, precisely designed schemes for the handloom weavers of northeastern region it is coming under national handloom development program there's an nhdp which is comprising of the development of clusters and where we are providing their apparatus machines i mean upgraded looms we are addressing their design parts by engaging designers we are uh, inviting them for the marketing events at the same time those who are having uh, space lands but they don't have any dedicated space for we weave, practicing weaving <coughs> so we are providing individual workshop also there are some other components those who are willing to produce the fabrics in a common space by creating common workshops or common facility center like that at the same time uh, we have a provision for providing individual interventions also those who are not coming under cluster so it is a cluster is a integrated kind of program but where the individual weavers are working they may avail our facilities they can apply for looms new looms upgraded looms they can apply for the training training we are providing under samarth so samarth is a dedicated uh, uh, flagship program of ministry of textiles where we are addressing capacity building programs skill upgradation 
it is a diff in different disciplines like weaving, dyeing, design, etc. So, uh, in northeastern region, the law and loom weavers are still producing their uh, product because of the beauty of law and loom products, and it is still in the demand for the domestic market. Even I have seen personally, there are some good designers and entrepreneurs in northeastern region. Still, they are encouraging law and loom products. So it is uh, altogether we can say we have some other. Uh, um, uh, schemes uh, or uh, uh, opportunities for the weavers to address their welfare schemes. Mm -hmm. They may avail our insurance scheme for uh, the, the insurance premium are paid by government of India and state government concern. We have uh, the, the provision of working capital like they may apply for the mudra loan so that uh, those who are sincere and uh, they are going to start their commercial activity the for as working capital they may apply for. So that with interest subvention and uh, um, for a period of 3 years they will get that facilities. So altogether uh, the weavers are having uh, many more uh, I mean components and we are encouraging uh, our we are having weaver service center are spreaded across country. We have 29 centers altogether, entire country, and we are communicating with the weavers from their location. We are providing our services as a decentralized manner, as well as in in Nagaland also. We have a small setup here in uh, Dimapur. It is a very small and newly set up uh, at Tulvi village uh, near uh, Dimapur. But uh, uh, at the same time, we are getting um, coordination. And assistance from the state authority, industries department, those who are looking dedicatedly for the handloom sector, they are uh, identi identifying pockets, individual weavers, and they are sending applications for various components also. We have uh, that setup, and uh, these days uh, we have various online portal. Even for the marketing weavers, those who are educated, or they may get some assistance for applying online <coughs> for the marketing event and uh, uh, we have a toll free number also so uh, that the toll free number can be accessed for various assistance and our uh, center uh, as a, I mean technical experts are moving across state for the various uh, purpose they are implementing schemes in the field so they used to uh, organize awareness program during awareness program at Chopal we used to invite good number of weavers there. So, we used to obtain their applications for various purpose. We basically uh, during uh, implementing Samarth uh, training program or the cluster activities, our technical experts are visiting different villages and uh, there uh, itself uh, they used to organize awareness program by inviting weavers. So, it is a awareness program kind of workshop also. So, the, the villagers, uh, the weavers are coming and they primarily they come to know that the advantages of different uh, scheme components mm -hmm. and later on they themselves decide for their application. We, we are providing some handhold uh, support also for, the, for collecting applications. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yeah. So, the, what is happening uh, that the uh, we are talking about women empowerment. You know that 95 percent and above weavers are women in northeastern region, though it is near about 70, 75 across country. So now we are in northeastern region, precisely in Nagaland state, that the, all the weavers are women here. But you are practicing your uh, uh, handloom uh, things, I mean the law and loom products since childhood. And uh, uh, it is encouraged by various agencies. You are lucky that uh, Exotic Eco is here. And Exotic Eco is not promoting your product only. They are encouraging, they are organizing such a fabulous uh, festival. It was previously organized in the international level. Even though that you are uh, uh, located nearby or nearby districts. So that we have to explore our uh, products as well as uh, the process uh, in, in, in the open, uh, I mean across country. 
because uh, the appreciation of law and law is not a new subject but i mean hardly we access even youtube to know about law and law that is a sad part that these days we are all are so much accustomed about internet uh, access but whenever we get any topic where law and law is hardly coming i we don't know but we have certain responsibility to put the correct tag put the correct tag for providing appropriate informations uh, uh, for the consumers because consumers are these days even for the europe and uh, us and uh, some uh, the first world countries consumers are very much conscious they are educated they always see the tag the history the the background of the product the process of the product any anything related to cottage or other things <clears throat> but here in our country we used to appreciate we love to buy products we will definitely appreciate when i will uh, uh, i mean uh, show these things this uh, beautiful product uh, in my association they will appreciate they will appreciate about the color they will appreciate about the design shape etc but the the point she has raised the how it is produced that is more important so simplicity you know that the you have hardly anything any apparatus you are using these days we are providing through our scheme so many things we are talking about upgraded looms improved looms what is that it is nothing that what you are doing the the uh, the basic technicalities for these weave we are doing the same thing there also even you must be i mean you are you will be surprised if we consider or compare but the refer the automation and the uh, the power looms and the automatic looms they are also using the same maker, same principle that you are using so you have started you have the root now that the engineer scientist researcher they are doing so many i mean uh, experiments and developing machines machines for increasing efficiency machines for precisely for efficiency definitely they are claiming for quality also i agree that quality is very much important so far if you are offering dyed fabric or dyed yarn made fabric where we have to ensure our consumers that it is fast dyeing unless what will happen that the it will be bleeded so that bleeding issue may spoil the other clothes other fabrics so that kind of impression may uh, i mean we will uh, store as a negative uh, uh, parts so it should not be so that is why while we are concentrating for commercial market we are willing to earn something we are willing to create our village uh, with uh, uh, such a manner where uh, the tourist will come they will learn our process but when they will buy our product they can they should use for a a uh, long time they should appreciate our products maybe for the accessories maybe for the apparels for furnishing whatever they will appreciate that they have prepared uh, with a very uh, uh, primitive a very crude method rather but it is so authentic and quality wise it is so good sustainable and that that is the real appreciation and that is why definitely we have to charge for that and there are consumers who will pay who are paying rather and madam knows that various i mean we have def- several contacts you know these days what is happening no many um, signature designers they are selling their product only for their level because the markup what we call that the, the cost of the fabric is what the raw material cost if it is dyed then dyeing cost then the production cost so production cost and the cost of the raw material that's it and after that you are paying your own valuable time for producing this product so it is wages this is a working i mean the wages of uh, for this uh, for production of this product 
and the rest of the things mark up the profit and that is they are making the designers these days designers are preparing even loyal met jackets sometimes but because of their level you can't imagine the what kind of price tag they are putting on they are selling from their uh, overseas i mean in uh, for the uh, europe market or the other they are having their own stores in in outside the country so the things are uh, i mean uh, simultaneously we are um, uh, observing that these things are happening but for you precisely i have a very simple and flat uh, message that uh, the the spirit you have shown since last uh, uh, decades i hope that uh, the exotic eco is working more than a 15 years it's a great thing and still they are showing their hope and i have seen uh, their uh, enthusiasm their uh, appreciation their uh, courage and th the the way they are putting exotic eco is putting their papers before ministry and claiming it is not uh, we should not restrict in in, in daisy fe or daisy fe or dimapur or nagaland only it is uh, all we are indian and we are in the perspective of our country we should get something and there are several assistance there are several support from our end only we have to justify certain things that we are doing so far i know closely exotic eco i have been here so i know Uh, that the how they are producing their product and we have lot of opportunities to explore this village we know that the villagers of desefi can improve that because i i came to know that uh, uh, that the tourism they are providing some capacity building program here for homestay you know the homestay for the kind of uh, uh, inputs you are getting which is very much relevant to this subject also while they will stay here the tourist will come they will spend quality time with you and you will provide goods i mean i will provide your services and it is chargeable and more than that when they will appreciate your product they they are they will try to buy your product and they will try to know about the technicalities and that way we have started our pilot program it is called craft tourism village it is uh, not uh, Uh, precisely uh, uh, prepared by the ministry of textiles initially it is from tourism and uh, for tourism we have uh, inspired uh, and we have taken this model for uh, craft and craft we are i mean it is a combination this is a hand crafted products as well as hand woven product if it is both the uh, i mean uh, hand crafted and hand woven products are Uh, producing in the same village that's great if not any of that uh, craft so what will happen that the products the uh, tourists or the buyers are buying in different location precisely in the urban area urban cities and in the mall in the uh, big market they they don't have that that conce conception about the process about the producers but when they will visit your village they will definitely concentrate and they, and you will be the key person to address their know how so that is why we have started experimenting and we are getting a very small uh, reactions of that these days after covid i mean the pandemic period now a uh, good number of uh, tourists are coming at, uh, at the kajiranga you must be knowing that the national uh, um, park of the forest of uh, assam uh, it is very um, popular for the uh, single horn rhino so the, the for the safari but it is a one day event the safari but after safari they used to get they get a uh, lot of times and they spend some good time with the weavers it is a adjacent village because you know like nagaland uh, in in assam also that every ghar every houses i mean the women and girl childs are practicing weaving they they are using their country looms and sometimes they are using their improved looms also they are producing their traditional products as well as some 
uh, that uh, conventional products i uh, sorry uh, that contemporary products also so like uh, here i i can say a few things uh, that uh, with practicing with law and loom the product you are doing we don't have any intention to uh, uh, i mean to to uh, draw your attention or divert your attention but at the same time if you are somehow keen to know about the commercial product somehow you are willing to produce some things for the commercial market you know that the one display uh, loom is there that uh, uh, frame loom it is uh, uh, definitely it is uh, bulgy it is uh, it will take some space it is not possible to keep uh, those, those looms in in your existing house but if you think these kind of facilities are there i will definitely convey my uh, direction to my local office that uh, according to your need with the assistance of exotic oko those who are practicing here in this village or nearby villages so if it is fitted with our schemes i am just talking about the schemes facilities it is one where we can provide skill upgradation the capacity building but unfortunately it is meant for frame loom i mean the treadle loom to upgraded jacquard loom which is not very much related with law and loom but we have uh, developed one uh, that the upgraded law and loom which is very similar to backstrap similarities are there i will ask my office to um, share uh, the technicalities and the model of that loom if it is suitable definitely we can provide not only provide we are asking for that uh, capacity building program what will happen for the skill upgradation training you will learn something if you are willing to continue fine if not no problem but during your learning process you will get some assistance also by we used to provide some wage compensation because you are somehow earning maybe for the farming maybe for the other things maybe for the weaving so if we are taking your time we will provide some uh, wages it is uh, like uh, 300 rupees per day we used to provide as wages for a period of 45 days moreover the entire raw material parts and the design inputs the technicalities documentation uh, we, we used to put one master trainer expert trainer here assistant so all together it is a period of uh, one and a half months activity but uh, if you think it is relevant for few of the uh, villagers weavers uh, we may offer if not i was uh, um, uh, talking about uh, that the weavers houses you have um, ample space to create one dedicated space for keeping your loom where you can we can sit you can practice your weaving process nobody will disturb you it will be your personal a very private space and that way we are providing our uh, that worksheet component individual worksheet you used to say we have a set up for the common worksheet like here exotic eco if the weavers will sit but it is not happening in in these industry because uh, that the the artisans weavers are very much i mean comfortable to practice in their own house because they are not uh, that much uh, uh, I, we don't like to uh, practice in a specific schedule hour so any time it's, it should be flexible so that way these kind of components are there there are some uh, welfare schemes also that way you can enroll your name for the insurance the bima kind of things that will help because state and central is providing the premium and you will get some several in the natural death uh, i mean we should not mention about these things but it is a natural process uh, so we don't know what will happen tomorrow so that is why if it is accidental it is a disability uh, suddenly uh, uh, it will come in your family or in uh, in your case so you will get the one time assistance from the government of india and uh, if it is uh, you know that uh, you are willing to start your work with the uh, uh, raw material uh, support with the uh, loom support or you need some working capital you may apply for the mudra you will get some mudra loan but it is loan again and for that you have to repay so we are not encouraging everywhere that the mudra is applicable for all, all of you but those who are i mean constituted a group they may think of 
uh, because we have several slabs of uh, mudra alone. Moreover, uh, the design inputs, whatever you are getting here, Exotic Eco, is, uh, they are having the expertise. I know that way it is already addressed. But even though if Exotic Eco is, um, I mean, if some cluster-based program or that I have mentioned about the craft village kind of program uh, schemes we will get here, we are trying for a DESI fee because it is very much, I mean, uh, I mean, the semi craft village, we can, or rather, is a craft village. It's all the environment, the basic amenities, uh, the infrastructure. We are, uh, because I must uh, refer here our formerly de development commissioner during his visit, he has appreciated uh, his uh, remarks, comment, and at the same time requested for the authority that the local state officers were there, the central office, we are, we were there, an exotic eco, that we should prepare a good uh, a project for DESFE for creation of craft village. And we hope that uh, shortly we will get that craft village project here. And that will definitely, uh, uh, I mean, um, shift you. I mean, already you are doing good work, but you will get uh, uh, the many more things. I mean, the people will come, you will uh, uh, get some uh, good amenities here. So altogether, village will be uh, more attractive. And uh, the campus of uh, this exotic eco is absolutely nice, absolutely fabulous. But the surrounding areas also will be developed, those who are practicing weaving. So these are all uh, the scattered components we, I am talking about. This is not the a very formal session for uh, delivering your things. But uh, you have certain questions in your mind. Uh, maybe uh, if it is uh, suitable for me, definitely I will address, I, I will answer. Platform. So uh, this time we are promoting one uh, location. It is uh, very uh, close to Connaught Place, uh, the centrally uh, located in New Delhi, the market commercial place, Connaught Place. It's called place called Janpat. We have a huge setup, garment setup. Madam uh, been there. So and uh, now our intention to promote that building, that complex. It is a basically made for, prepared for commercial purpose, though we are functioning, some ministries offices are functioning there. So during the exhibition, what we have, I mean, our thought process is that we will start promoting handloom products through exhibitions. We will invite dignitaries there in a consumer or customer's form, and they will come from various ends, in the, from the, the high income group, you rather you can say, but they will definitely appreciate, they will buy your product. At the same time, we are creating one theme pavilion for exhibition only, along with live loom demonstrations. So we have shortlisted some different uh, techniques uh, should be uh, inbuilt with uh, the theme pavilion. So loyal loom is the one uh, process which will be continue for entire exhibition period. So separately, we are inviting demonstrator along with apparatus. So that the one who will demonstrate there, that person will carry his or her own loom, uh, raw materials, and the product we 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 have to intimate them in before um, I mean well in advance that what kind of product will be demonstrated. That's it. But uh, the space will be offered by the ministry, and that the other facilities that I have we have approached that the entire the passage cost should be borne by the ministry. Usually in our NHDP scheme, we have a provision to provide some financial assistance, but for this occasion, for this particular demonstration purpose, that is not uh, just I mean uh, sufficient because we used to provide uh, a single weaver or single demonstrator. This time, someone uh, will be visiting from this place. So one person will uh, assist her, uh, accompany her. At the same time, the staying, fooding, lodging, uh, the, the, uh, the travel cost, et cetera, will be covered. So in a lump sum, uh, we have already uh, intimated to ministry for the assistance 
that I may share maybe tomorrow or day after because it is already submitted. If it is really suitable for you or the interested person, I am ha very happy to submit your name. Already I have fetched one person, two person's name from the Arunachal Pradesh, but I love to uh, add your name from Desifi, Nagaland.